We have constructed the Mill Race Path along the Mill Race because of the history that it has for Springfield, the ecological education benefits um, for users of the path, and also to serve as a uh, transportation option for people that want to travel from downtown Springfield to Thurston Hills. Elias Briggs needed to bring water into Springfield to help power the grist and sawmills back in 1850. So he hand dug it and uh, was able to bring water into Springfield. Springfield Mill Race is an important part of uh, Springfield's uh, uh, industrial culture. It was a key component to bringing the timber industry into Springfield. Uh, the water was used to supply the timber uh, industry. Well, I think the, the Mill Race Path uh, is just another example uh, of our ongoing work uh, as a Team Springfield member. They realized this was a great opportunity uh, for us to have our students engage with them as they were doing the work in terms of STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, of which all of those things were occurring as that path was being designed and then eventually built. Uh, it also provided our students with an opportunity to observe work that can be done in both an ecologically sensitive area, um, but in an ecologically sustainable way. I love uh, using the, um, the local bike path, so I ride on the Middle Fork path a lot. And normally if I go from here, um, I have to go all the way down to Clearwater and then come back the Middle Fork path. And that adds about two or three miles onto my bike commute, which is a fair bit of time. So now I can just come straight down here and end up downtown Springfield. It's part of a larger concept of the Rivers to Ridges plan that really looks at what are the alternative ways that people can travel through uh, Eugene and Springfield, how do we connect our natural areas and really get people to our local water uh, bodies and, and help them experience a different aspect of recreation. Walking, biking, obviously, you know, you could roller skate or whatever you want down it. I think it's nice for people to just get out in nature. I think the beauty of, of this project, um, the great gift of this project, is the fact that it encourages uh, our community, not just in Springfield, but across Lane County, uh, to be able to interface with some very beautiful property, um, very beautiful wetlands um, in a way that is sensitive to the ecology, but still uh, they can interface and, and have a greater appreciation for the beauty that's around them. Um, we've brought our little niece and nephew out on the paths to just play and look at the ponds and the frogs and stuff. So it's, it's really a nice way to connect people sort of to the nature, the mill race that's by here and, and also to their city, to the downtown. It will be you know, an amazing wildlife uh, opportunity for folks. Uh, you can go there, you'll see deer, you'll see many birds, native plants uh, along the mill race. Things that people don't normally see in an urban environment, but they can just go uh, a little ways and, and get into a whole different world uh, separate from the urban environment.